Hi, I'm Dami from eLearning Channel Museum. Last week, we learned middle C neighbor's family from C to step up D and C to step down B, which is a state in a huge space between the middle C. Today, we will expand from C to G and left hand from middle C to going down F. So you have to remember spreading off from C to going up G and C to going down F. Let's start. Number one, side reading. In this side reading, I want you to remember from middle C to treble clef G, which is second line from the middle C. And left hand G, which is top space from the middle C. So just remember C to queen G and C to left hand G. So you have to remember, memorize the note where it is. Let's start side reading. Let's find hand position. It starts with the right hand first on middle C. So middle C to black is first one here. And if you're looking at the whole first measure, it's just line, space, line, space. Step up. So C from step up. That's the first measure. What about second measure? Same middle C. It looks different, but same middle C. But starts with the left hand. Why? Because the middle C is closer to the bass clap, not the treble clap. So starts with left hand, middle C, and going down. Line, space, line, space. So it goes down to C, B, A, G. So in this lesson, I want you to remember C, D, E, F, G, and C, B, A, G, F. So we're spreading over like a fan from the middle C to D, E, F, G, and C, B, A, G, F. All right. Now let's start from very beginning. We will go slow. Right hand. Left hand, you can put it, be ready like this, but since we share in the middle C, just leave it aside a little bit. Or you can just leave it on your lap. That's fine too. But you have to be ready by the second measure. Before the second measure, actually. Ready? One, two, ready? Go! C, D, E, F, left hand ready. Start with a C, going down to B, A, G. Up to here, no problem. What about the third measure? Middle C with right hand. So C, what about the second note? Aha, uh -huh, line to line, but it's a skipping line and go to the next line. G, that's you can find, or that's a G line. How do we know? Because G clef, do you remember the G clef and F clef? The line, both lines? Yes, that way you can remember. All right, so C, going to G, jump a lot, and steps down. F. E, from here E to the next measure is C. Going back to C, and what about the next note? Left hand B, it looks really far, but in piano, just right next to each other. B, A, G, step down. That's the first line. And moving to the second line. Aha, uh -huh. where? F line, do you remember the F line? Bass club, two little dots between is F. So F, just right below. And step up again. Step up, up, that's a B. And right hand C. Step up, up to now. Line to line, skip up. G. And Going back to C and going back to G again and left hand. This time 
Why? Because the C middle C but is closer to the bass clef. G and ah, then no, we might have to find it. How are you gonna find it? Now let's see. Line two is not line, more than line. So skip to line and one more down. So that's gonna be G. Okay? Where you can find or do you remember the bass clef? Uh, space note names A is G so that's a G top space note G step up up come back to middle C with the left hand ending 2 that's it second part technique finger exercise today is the second time to learn finger exercise technique as I mentioned before you have to focusing on playing strong and push down until the end of the key so you have to play really as hard as possible last time some of you actually mentioned can we practice on the tables or on the desk yes you can practice it it doesn't have to be on the piano of course you have to practice on the piano at least every day two times to five times to remember the keys you also have to remember the key distance by practicing it but also you can practice on your desk while you're walking or anywhere. Today, we will do skip up the letter C and going up and down. And at the end of the finger exercise, I added pentachord, which is starting from the C going up and down coming down we chord five note scales later on we will learn scales what is the scale how to play a scales and what kind of scales we have in the music but before we learn the scales this penta scale is five note scales a small version of scale so it's really good exercise to learn and at the end we also will learn chords what is the chords Let's just start with the right hand only first. Right hand starts with the C. And this exercise is just pattern. So just let's see the first measure only. C starts with the C and skip up. So we will skip the note. And then after that, step up, up, up. So once you skip and use all the finger up to five, and then coming down, 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 down. Down. So you use all the five finger. That's the first pattern. And then just keep on going the same way. And once you're done with the D, uh, finger number one, and then skip up again, going up, 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 and step down, 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 down. Use all the fingers and then skip up. And then you just keep on going step by step that way until where? Until you see the next C. That is this exercise. Now let's just start slow, right hand. When you play this technique song, focusing on hand shapes and powerful finger, try to play it as hard as possible. Now let's just start. Ready? I will give you eighth note as one count. One, two, ready, go. C, skip up, step up. Down, down, down. Finally, we reached 
to C. Step up. This time is without a skipping it. We just play it right next to note. C, D, 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 F, G, F, E, D. Come back to C again. And now if you're looking at the very last measure, space to space. It skips up. So skip, skip. C to count and we play a three note. C skip up, skip up with well blocked chord. Aha! Uh -huh. Now the very last measure, the very last line on the music. Start from the C, going up to G, and coming down. We call that one pentascale. Pentascale means consist with five notes. Penta means five. So from the C to going up five note up and coming down is penta scales. And then the very last measure within the penta, if we skip the C, skip and skip, that's the chord, C chord. So to play a well on chord or to know the chord, you have to know the penta scales and you have to know the chord. What is the chord? So very last measure and very last line is really important. As you play it, remember, Drop at the same time. That's the right hand exercise. So work on right hand only when you can play it well. Add it left hand the same way from middle C. Just difference is you start from the finger number five and skip the finger and go up all the way, coming down and skip up. Of course, I'm holding all the note to show you which note it is. But when you play it, just play it as one note. Skip up. Or you can move down to bass C and play it. That's fine too. And when you can play it well, try both hands together. That's how you're supposed to practice for the technique. Finally, the last section is a song. Today, we're going to learn a very famous one. This one become really famous by Elvis Presley. He sang it. But the original song is Ola Li. This song has the note that we just learned it today. G, left hand, and treble clap Gs. And also, start from the middle C between the notes. C, D, E, F, G, C, E, A, G. So let's see how it works. This song starts with left hand. G. Today, I ask you to circle the G on the bass clap, right? G so that you're supposed to know right away that's the G and go to middle C and step down and up aha uh -huh. then we know all the note on the first measure now what about the second measure right hand it really looks far from the end note and then the next the second measure the first note is looks far but that's D right right next to each other and what about the second note of the second measure, the left hand. It's hard to find right away, but that's fine. Middle C2, skip down, line to line as A. That way you can find, or just C. C, B, A, that way you can count it down. Now let's go slow. One, two, three, go. G, middle C, step down, middle C, right hand right next to each other, and A, and coming back to D again, to count, left hand, C, step down, down, up, middle C, to count, and then the next one is G, one, two, 
and G again. C, step down, C, right hand, D, A again, D, two, left hand, middle C, step down, down, step up, middle C again, two, three, four count, and the next line is E. Now let's go faster. One, two, three, go. Just try to copy down the note, maybe at least two, three times. Then it's much easier to recognize the note rather than just reading and playing it. When we start learning new alphabets, the fastest way is you have to write it and say it. Not only memorize with your eyes, but memorize your hand. And if you listen to your sound, it gets faster the same way. Music is the same. It's another language. So best way is just sit down, copy down the music, and see how far it is. Skip, step, not only knowing with your eyes, but just copy down on the musical step and see how it goes. And once you write it down, you will see much better and you will recognize faster. So good luck on this week's practice. And next week is last session of our basic course where we start learning the chord. So I will see you next week and hope you enjoy your practice. Bye!